Hello there, baby carrots. Welcome to the friendliest channel in the Southern Hemisphere. I'm going to show you a post. I did this at the very start of 2023. I believed that the next 18 months would be a recycling of two emotions. Hope and disbelief. Hope and disbelief. It starts off with a disbelief rally. You're like, oh. I don't believe we're going up because the news is bad. But guess what? It goes just high enough to get you hopeful. You're like, oh my gosh, I hope we keep going. I hope we repeat 2019. That's what 2019 was. Let's have a look at it. See 2019? 2019 was, oh, I hope we, I hope we go euphoric. Oh, please, please, please. Everybody was bearishy, by the way. If you want to know why 2019 happened, it was not only the plus token Ponzi and the Fed held rates here, but... Everybody was positioned short. Everybody was sidelined. Everyone thought 1K Bitcoin was coming. But, okay, yes, they thought 1K Bitcoin was coming, just like how everyone thought 10K Bitcoin was coming or $500 Ethereum, etc. But there was a difference here. Everyone thought, I remember, me included, I was not in touch with Twitter, I was new. We all thought 6K level was an unbreakable level and you should sell under it. I remember that. I thought this way. You want to know something cool? I never went and checked with anybody else until years later. Because I just thought, oh, it just makes sense. 6K is a big level. I thought the exact same thing. And then to my surprise, everyone was like, screw 6K, we're going to the moon. And then we had to come back and pay for our sins. Hope and disbelief. This big rally we got was a giant hope. It didn't even stop at hope. This actually went to euphoria. People were calling for 20K here. And then because you got euphoria, you got to go a bit of fear on the backside, okay? This is really thrill optimism. So it's interesting, okay? If you get one emotional extreme, so instead of stopping at hope, instead of maybe stopping here or here, we got full-on thrill and belief from the Wall Street cheat sheet, which is right here. That was Bitcoin breaking 6K. But because you got this belief and thrill, Marcus says, well, no, we've got to give you not some anxiety. We've got to give you some denial, panic, capitulation. That's actually what happened with the zombie virus. Ouch. So this is such a fascinating time to look at it. Why? It's because everybody anchored to this move for our current year, for 2023. Everyone thought we were going to get this move, once we started recovering, by the way. So firstly, the default was that we would keep going down for 2023. But when we started going up, people were like, no, 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 we're going to repeat 2020, 2019. We didn't. We just repeated the cycle before that. We did slow and methodical. That's what happened. So if we return here, I share with you. And you know what? We're going to pump some music, friends. Hope and disbelief. The washing machine. We are in the washing machine, aren't we? We're moving to the next phase soon, but not yet. Trust me. Every day I wake up, I want to tell you, oh yeah, we're done with hope and disbelief, baby. We're going straight into belief. Optimism through. We're going straight there, which is here. See, once we are done rinsing this part, what's next? Optimism, which means break the high. So what would optimism be? I think optimism would be... Bitcoin breaks 69,000, actually breaks it. It closes a week above that price. You could also perhaps envision a world where a level around 50,000 is made, 60,000, and close a week above that. But that's me and you thinking because we're skeptical of Roca Negra. But... Other people are not going to be saying that. Other people believe optimism is going to be $69,000, new all-time high. Remember, if we break it, look what it actually says here. It says here, the rally is real. Yes, yeah, so we're like, oh my gosh, no more fake outs. You know, Bitcoin might go triple top, 80, so like we might go like 60, 50, 60, 50, 60, 50, and then uh-oh, we start going up. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, the rally is real, the rally is real. That's what this means. Now, what happens right after that? Look what it says. Time to get fully invested. <laughs> no, no. The time to get fully invested was when 
bankless dudes were crying on camera and Kobe was saying he has no faith in the crypto industry at all. He is hopeless with it. That's the time to get fully invested. Not when it breaks the all-time high, but we know humans and our emotions, we do the complete opposite. We know because it feels good, doesn't it? And then you get the thrill part, isn't it? After you like time to get fully invested. Then guess what? The people come in after that. Why? Because they know all institutions now want to get in. Institutions and countries and all the big dudes. That's the thrill part. But instead of everybody saying, wait a minute. I think weak hands are uh, entering the market. Nobody says that. Instead, what do we say? We say, I will buy more on margin. Got to tell everyone to buy with me. You see that? That's what happens. I can see it. Bitcoin 75, 80K. We're going to 100. We're going to 150. Just to let you know, no one's going to be believing in just a 100K target at 80,000. No one will. It's going to be 150, 200, 250, 250. It depends on the meme number that gets created. You know, I saw, this is friends, please, you got to listen to this, what I'm telling you right now. The gold market cap, if Bitcoin equates it, it's 500K, all right? But I've seen estimates, what people have done is they've removed half of it and they've only accounted for some sort of monetary premium and it's about 250K. So I thought, that's interesting. That sounds like a downgrade of the target. It's lowering the goalpost. Because they think, okay, 500K is too unreasonable. Maybe if 250K is reasonable. But guess what? If the crowd expects 250K, go ahead, divide it by three. It's around 80K-ish. Doesn't that seem closely dangerous to 100 where no one buys above? Interesting. But it depends on how the crowd thinks about it. We don't know what's going to happen at that time. That's why trying to predict these tops, it's a fool's game. You just got to go off the emotion. You go, are you euphor are you euphoric yet? No. You know how euphoria, we only have enough chemicals in our body to do it. Otherwise, your, your neurotransmitters get fried. You can't just keep being euphoric every day. Oh, euphoric. You get desensitized very quick. We're going to be really careful of this. So isn't that exactly what we saw for the next 18 months, right? You see that? I walked you through what everybody expects, but I said hope and disbelief rinsing. We're ready for that new phase. I still believe there's a few more rinses. And trust me, I want that optimism, belief area. Okay, so this was the post. The next 18 months of crypto will most likely be a recycling of two emotions, disbelief and hope. Disbelief will reward the bulls as it traverses up the range. That's what we saw as Bitcoin went from 15K to 20K. This part right here. This is Bitcoin here, 16K going up. Disbelief. Oh, I remember stopping here. We thought it was over. And then some disbelief rally. And guess what? You know when we broke up here? We were all hopeful. We're like, oh my gosh, we've closed the week. And then the USDCD pegging happened. <laughs> There's your dreams crushed again. And then, oh no, we're going up Silver Bank. You saw that over and over again. I keep marking up by this, right? Disbelief. Hope, disbelief, hope again. And it keeps happening over and over. So the disbelief rewards the bulls as it traverses up the range. Hope rewards the bears for the first few times on some macro moves. It did. We saw that. USDCD pegging, the silver bank. We saw the corrupt SEC. You remember? Coming back to the chart, you recall you, you specifically recall this, friends. I know you do. We recall it coming up here, and then, oh, no, look at this corrupt SEC. This was literally the corrupt SEC here. And then, Roca Negra ETF, we're making the videos. I remember when Roca Negra filed for the ETF, it was on my screen. It still said the seconds released on Twitter. It was like... Posted 30 seconds ago, and then I literally I started making a video immediately for you. Because I love you all. Because I know you like, subscribe, belly button, all. You want highest value content. You shock the algorithm. Family friendly show. You see this? Then Rock and Egg up the top. And then, uh oh, we got dumped on. Here comes Rec Temba. You see that? Hope and disbelief. Constantly. Disbelief rally. 
hope crushed. Think about, all right? So you got all the, look at this, you got this one cycle, two, three. Traditionally, if you go back to the previous cycles, you need four to five. You do need four to five. So this September one is like renting one. I think we have like two more to go. One or two more. You, you already know. You can feel it. Something has to involve the Bitcoin halvening. So we don't know. Are we just going to run straight into the Bitcoin halvening and then stop and have a big crash? Or are we going to do little ones along the way? We don't know. It just takes time. You've got to remind you got to hold your favorite crypto. I do like Chainlink, Buggy to DeFi. I do like Pulse Chain, Pulse X, Hex, Real DeFi. Consensus trades are Bitcoin and Ethereum. You can do what you want with them. Here, here I am with the picture. Don't forget, the main goal is getting through time. One of my friends also asked me, how do you know the hope and disbelief part is done? Ah, friends, and you're not going to like my answer. It's done when I finally give up. <laughs> I'm this, I'm, I know you're, you don't like that answer. It, I, this is just what happened last time. <laughs> I know you're going to like this. If we go back to 2020 before we broke the all-time high, I mentally, all right, now, remember, we were young pups here and they're printing money. So I was still confident, but I remember this was September 2020. And like, I just want to share with you, look what happened, okay? You had hope and disbelief so many times. Look at this. You had a big euphoric thrill run. So you could just write like a big hope run and then you got some disbelief here. And then you had hope on, this was President Xi candle, this green candle. President Xi said we like crypto or blockchain. And then disbelief, like, oh, we told you it was going to fail like all the others. And then hope was the Bitcoin halvening front run. But then disbelief, obviously the shocker, which was the counter of this move emotion, that was a zombie virus. Okay, so let's just mark it here. So remember, let's just put it in a, in a square here because these were countering their emotions. Extreme high, extreme low. I know you're going to say, how does a zombie virus counter that? I'm just telling you, when you look back at the charts and you put the pieces of the puzzle together, you really do think we're programmed in a simulation. I'm not making this up, man. The, the market and the, the prices and the reactions, it's spooky. It's spooky. God, unicorn, fairy dust, cosmos, aliens, interdimensional beings. I'm telling you, something's, something's weird happening, friends. These, these are linked. I know you don't think they're linked, but they're linked. These moves are linked. Now, when we got up again, this was Michael Saylor buying, buying, by the way. And then we actually had one more hope and disbelief. This was DeFi season. Hope and then disbelief one more time. That was the September 2020. See that? Look at this. One, two, three, four. But there's only four here. Why? Because these were extreme. Zombie virus was an extreme one. You could put zombie virus like two or three in one. And same as the euphoria we got from the run up to 13K. So it's like you added an extra one. You see this constant, this washing machine? This is what we've been doing all year. Bang, 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 bang. This is 2023. So unfortunately, we still have a while to go. Why? If you go back and look at the Bitcoin halvening, which is around here, you see this, friends? There is one more after the Bitcoin halvening. But on the chart, it doesn't look like a hope and disbelief. But what it is actually doing is it's a thrust up into the big trend and then a pullback in. That's what happens. It basically, you if you're a confirmation trader, you want to wait for the thrust up to show you we've got some life. And then you get the first panic, the first dip panic. By the way, everyone's going to be losing their minds on that first dip panic when we have it. We're going to have it sometime in 2024. I don't know where it's going to happen, how, but... It's going to screw us. I just, fingers crossed that it's not China invading Taiwan or Middle East bombing. Let's just hope it's like something to do with the stock market and a bond that blows up and a bank has a crisis and crypto just sells off with it. Maybe it's something like that because we know we'll just patch it up. But hey, whatever story is going to be written, I mean, we have no control anyway. So I mentally gave up here. That's why that final one right there. I mentally, I said to myself, I, and I said, man, if crypto doesn't go up in a straight line from here, this whole industry is going to zero. This is all a scam. I remember saying this. It was the final one. I never said it anyone here. 
right? When we were here on the zombie virus, I wasn't even saying that. I was saying, like, it's the end of the world. I was just laughing. I was laughing. I was just shocked. Like, oh, my God, really? Really? Yeah, but I wasn't feeling that here. Why? More time had been rinsed. Also, one last mention, the leverage traders were in full force here, and they were short. They were in full force, and they kept shorting on the way up. I know this. I know people who blew their accounts. I know one Twitter dude, I think he lost like, oh man, I hate it. I can't believe I'm saying this number. He lost like 120 Bitcoin getting short. Oh man, that's, oh yeah, I don't know. Friends, I don't know, just, just please be, leverage trading, friends, oh, just just don't do it. Please don't do it, okay? I don't want you to be this story because some of you only have 1.2 Bitcoin and then you're going to lose that anyway, all right? Don't play that game. We have better, we have better things out here. We have real DeFi now existing. Okay, but that's what happens at the very end. The final hope and disbelief. We're not done there yet. We still got so we still got a bit of zip and pep in our step here. So that's what's happened, right? Don't think specifically it has to end, you know, in exactly six months or around the Bitcoin halvening. Just be prepared for that. And we're gonna know. That's why I want to come back and hopefully reference me and you going through this conversation where we speak about, oh my gosh. We're at the point of giving up in the future. And by the way, we're not going to feel good. We're not going to be saying it with enthusiasm. We're just going to be saying like, oh my gosh, this thing's never going to get out of the range. You know, make sure you like, subscribe, belly button, or catch you in the next one.